I know you're tired of those boring lectures where the teacher speaks with that constant monotone soulless voice that sucks the life out of you and leaves you lulled into the best sleep you've ever had in your life. Well, this was me. A couple years back when I was learning how to code, I was bored, uninspired, and on the complete other end, I would get really frustrated when I got things wrong. But today, I am going to challenge myself and see if I can learn some of the basics of Python, and even better yet, sprinkle a bit of large language model learning into there. Not by using boring lectures, but by using an interactive website that you've probably heard of before. Brilliant. I don't know what a string is yet. Okay, maybe... Brilliant is an online learning platform that specializes in maths, programming, data analysis, AI, and science. If you're a STEM student, Brilliant is going to be your best friend. And there are thousands of these lessons with a heavy focus on thinking effectively and problem solving. So the aim of this challenge is to A, take some of these lessons and B, actually understand them. And if you want to genuinely understand what you learn, especially when it comes to STEM with all of its real life application, you've got to find a way to make it visual and interactive. The example I gave in the beginning with the boring lecture is sadly how most classroom learning is done in today's age. But if you feel like you're not getting a topic, there's probably nothing wrong with you, but rather the way in which you're learning it. Your learning shouldn't feel like a teacher or something like a textbook speaking at you or trying to teach at you. Honestly, it should feel like a conversation. There's a back and forth and interaction between you and the content. And the easiest way to do that is with an application like this. What is wrong with this program? Oh, password needs to come before that. So that's line three sets of variable incorrectly. Okay, okay. Eating, eating. Look, we're humans, okay? We're visual creatures. How often do you remember a person's face but forget their name? Pretty often. But we rarely ever remember someone's name but then forget their face. That's because our brains are literally wired to remember things better when they are visual. Not to mention, it's just way more fun when it's visual. You get to play around with all these concepts. You give your brain way less work to do. Imagine this, you're trying to understand something like a big scientific concept and your brain is already in the trenches trying to understand this deep using all of that brain capacity that you've got inside of you. And then you want to make your brain visualize it on top of that. Why would you do that when you could draw it out on a piece of paper or better yet, get an app to do it for you. 784 dimensional space, Jesus Christ. Bro, what? Another really big part of this is problem solving. When you can problem solve, that's the exact moment when you can go, huh, I probably understood at least a good chunk of this thing. On Brilliant, you're problem solving straight from the get-go. Oh, we have like a real life example already. Variables, a networking app, locked in needs better security. The best way to learn is to have these big concepts and then separate them down into smaller chunks. You learn about these smaller chunks, you understand them, and then you solve problems with these smaller chunks, and then the whole picture gets attached. There you go. Now you just understood this huge concept that you thought it was gonna take ages to get. There you go. Yay! The thing about problem solving is that it forces you to have to think harder. I need you guys to deep it for a second. Your basis for learning and remembering and all of this really important stuff is your thought process. It's the way that you were able to use your thinking to understand, to memorize, to work out something. You ever have those light bulb moments where you're like, aha, uh -huh, I get it now. When you get those light bulb moments, something has changed in the way that you are thinking. And this thinking is what's gonna be able to help you work through these problems, find the answer, and it's even the base of your memorization. Two and five, no? What? Zero and seven. 
Why? Avoid the negative values at the center of the measurement. Oh, okay. You have to train yourself to solve problems on the daily if you want your thought process to improve like this. Would it be 23 is equal to age or age is equal to 23 or does it not even matter and am I just deeping life too much? Okay, the name is on the left and the value of right. Okay, so I wasn't deeping things too much and it does actually work like that. And of course, I'm a student. Most of you guys that are watching this are probably students as well. And we're probably all preparing for exams. And in your exam, you're going to get problems, right? And the only way to get better at problem solving is, you heard it, by problem solving. Okay, what is the output of the program? Uh, 19? No, what? What? Why? Oh, because it said because it said print score before it got to 19 so the latest score would have been f i don't even need to click right i got that one mm -hmm. clock it oh my mom's calling me and of course testing now that you've understood through making your learning visual and interactive you've practiced solving problems to think harder you've now got to put all of that hard work to the test testing at least in a formal school academic environment is pretty intimidating you know huge example well at least if you find it intimidating like me you've got to find a way to make it fun and light-hearted when you're first learning a concept but you've still got to test yourself now this is a really cool way to do it oh my god you literally oh my gosh you have a test at the end of like every lesson that's so cool testing is also probably the most important step because if you don't use it you lose it when you test yourself on previous knowledge you can assure yourself that it's actually gone into your brain and if you've been on study tube for a while oh you already know what i'm about to say you all know we're always talking about flashcards we're always talking about active recall because these methods are scientifically proven to get that information into your head you are pushing yourself to answer those questions and you're having fun it's a win-win the strength variable has oh whoopsie daisy oh wait that's so true yeah no that that makes sense that makes sense what i love is like when you get it wrong brilliant still like tells you why that <laughs> that didn't need quotation marks now i had so much fun making this video and so much fun learning all this cool stuff on brilliant and i'm not gonna leave you out with that fun if you scan the qr code or click the link in the description you can get started for free today and get 20 percent off the annual premium subscription what are you waiting for if you're watching this video to procrastinate on something that you know you need to get done click this video entrepreneur entrepreneur clock it